Hey guys, Deronda here with Foods 101. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this Texas caviar. Don't let it intimidate you because there's no caviar in this Texas caviar. It's a delicious, fresh dip that you can serve with chips or you can serve as a side dish. The ingredients you're going to need is a 14 ounce can of petty diced tomatoes with their juice, a 14 to 15 ounce can of black beans, and a 14 to 15 ounce can of black eyed peas. I'm gonna show you how to drain and rinse these later. Two to three large garlic cloves, finely minced. I have a very finely minced. You wanna make sure nobody gets a big bite of garlic here in their dip. One fourth cup of finely chopped red onions, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of white vinegar, two tablespoons of olive oil, or you can substitute with a canola oil, one fourth teaspoon of ground cumin, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of fresh cracked black pepper, finely chopped fresh cilantro. Be sure you use fresh, it'll make all the difference in flavor, and one and a half cup of sweet corn. You can use frozen corn, fresh corn, or you can use canned corn. If you use canned corn, make sure you drain it completely from its liquid. Let me show you how we're going to drain and rinse our black beans and black eyed peas. In a sieve, over a bowl, pour the can of black eyed peas in here, along with the can of black Bean. Let this drain for about five minutes before we rinse it under fresh, cool tap water. And as you can see how it's draining there in the bottom, that's exactly what you want to do. In another bowl, we're going to add the pepper, the salt, the ground cumin, the olive oil or canola oil, the white vinegar, and the sugar. If you want to use a plant-based sugar, you may. Give this a lovely little tossing. We're going to add our garlic. Give that a lovely stirring. Add your cilantro. Mmm, that smells so refreshing. It really gives your Texas caviar a punch of incredible flavor and freshness. Our red onions. And we're going to go ahead and give this a lovely little stir. Add your can of tomatoes. We're going to toss this around. Yes, you don't need to drain your tomatoes. You want that lovely sauce to accumulate with the other ingredients we've just added. Give it a lovely, gentle tossing. Back with those black eyed peas and beans. I'm going to show you how I'm going to rinse them under fresh cool tap water. We're going to rinse all the sauce off of our black eyed peas and our black beans. That looks great. Give them a lovely little shaking and then add them in with your corn cilantro and dressing mix. Look at that cilantro. Ooh, and those black eyed peas and black beans and tomatoes. It's going to be fabulous. Yummy. I can smell the garlic. I can smell the cilantro. This is going to be so refreshing. I didn't show you in the beginning of our ingredients, but I love to add about one or two teaspoons of fresh lime juice. Use fresh. It'll take it to another level of flavor. You can leave it out or you can add more. I'm going to leave it up to you. And boy, does this smell so refreshing. You're not going to be disappointed in this Texas caviar. Add to your favorite serving dish. Cover tightly. Make it airtight. And we're going to refrigerate up to three hours or overnight before serving. So off to the refrigerator. I've had this chill for overnight. I'm going to serve it with a fresh sprig of cilantro here in the top. Makes it look so festive. Informally give it a taste. You can serve it with chips. You can serve it with vegetables. You can serve as a side dish. You can serve it however you wish. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. The cilantro, the lime, the tomatoes, black eyed peas, black beans, and that garlic makes this so refreshing. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Give me thumbs up, leave me a comment, hit that notification bell to be the first to get my new YouTube food videos. Thanks a million for watching, and I'll catch you lovely people later.